My name is Francine Chincheme. I am a doctor in Bingo Hospital, one of the Cameroon Baptist Hospitals in the northwest of Cameroon and in charge of treating children with abnormal growth. Today I want to tell you about a little boy named Ababa who is eight years old. Ababa lives in a very small town far from the hospital. He developed a growth in his cheek for which his mother took him to see the traditional healer. The traditional healer gave him a local medicine made from herbs, but the growth increased in size, causing his teeth to become loose in his mouth. He lost weight, was tired, and no longer wanted to play soccer with the other kids. Ababa developed a fever, so his mother took him to the nearest health clinic where he had received his immunization as a small boy. The nurse saw him and gave him antibiotics and told him to brush his teeth more often as she thought that dirty teeth had caused the growth. When the growth increased in size, Ababa's mother asked for help from the local priest. He advised her to go to the Cameroon Baptist Hospital in Bingo where there were many doctors who could do more in-depth examinations than the clinic nurse. Ababa's mother could not bring Ababa immediately to Bingo Hospital since the taxi fee was 500 Cameroonian francs. She first had to raise the money for the transport cost by selling her chickens and borrowing from her brothers. It took her six weeks to raise the taxi fee. She went to Bingo Hospital four months after the start of the growth in Ababa's cheek. By now, Ababa had lost a lot more weight, had daily fevers, a huge mass in his face and neck, and did not play at all. When I saw Ababa, I asked the following questions. When did Ababa's growth start? As he lost weight, is he still eating well? Does he still play with his friends and what type of games does he play? Is he more tired than normal? Does he have a fever? On examination, I found that there was a huge mass in Ababa's right jaw measuring 8 by 8 centimeter. The lymph nodes were also enlarged under the jaw and in his neck. I also examined his abdomen and found that his liver and spleen were enlarged. I explained to his mother that we needed to take a biopsy and test his blood. While his blood test came back as normal, a biopsy of the mass in the right jaw confirmed that it was Burkitt lymphoma, a childhood cancer of the lymph nodes. We also did a lumbar puncture, which is a needle in the back between the bones of the spine to get cerebrospinal fluid, which is the fluid circulating around the brain. Sometimes this disease can spread into the cerebrospinal fluid, and this can mean more intensive treatment for a longer period. Unfortunately, for Ababa, the fluid was abnormal. He had to get very intensive therapy because of this, and his treatment took nine months. It was very difficult for Ababa's mother because she had to borrow a lot of money to come regularly for his treatment. Fortunately, the treatment itself was sponsored by a UK-based trust, so Ababa's mother did not have to pay medical costs in addition to transport costs. Ababa has survived, but his treatment would have been shorter with less travel expenses for his many trips to the hospital if Ababa had been immediately diagnosed with his Burkitt lymphoma. Here are some key points to remember. If parents report abnormal lumps or growths, these should be immediately investigated for childhood cancer. These growths can be anywhere in the body. Information materials about early warning signs of childhood cancer need to be displayed in doctors' consulting rooms, 
hospital and primary care clinics so that her staff and parents can be reminded of the warning signs of childhood cancer. If doctors or nurses are unsure about what is wrong with the patient, they should consult a specialist or refer to a large hospital with many specialists to assist them with the diagnosis. Early detection is the key to success in low-income settings, helping to reduce financial burden and increasing the survival rate.